latest Seahawks news and rumors is uh, around the offensive coordinator because Tom Shoddy's replacement is finally here. It's Shane Waldron. It wasn't Adam Gase. Yes. Victory for Seattle. I'm only actually partially kidding there. I'm kind of serious about it. <laughs> I, I this was He was actually on our original list on our Seahawks channel of potential OC candidates. He checked in, I think, in the end at number nine or number eight. The Seahawks have had trouble in recent years when it comes to stopping the Rams. Yes. So from that perspective, if you're going to hire an offensive coordinator, I don't mind the idea of going out and getting the guy or the, the guy who worked under the guy who you can't stop. Yeah. I, I'm totally on board with that. Now, he is a younger offensive coordinator. He's actually never been a, a coordinator or a play caller in the NFL. This was not, however, the biggest job he's ever interviewed for. Okay. He interviewed for the Bengals head coaching job that went to Zach Taylor. Mm. But when the Bengals were like, let's just hire Sean McVay 2.0. Yes, exactly. No matter what. So I, actually, I, I am on board with this move by Seattle, going out and getting Shane Waldron. I think it's a, it's a younger guy. The Rams still ran the ball a lot but they ran a lot more play action. If you can bring in some pre-snap motion like McVay uses yes. and make it a little bit more mcvay knowing Pete Carroll Price wants to keep it run-focused, I think that makes some sense. And by the way, DK Metcalf recently said, hey, our offense became predictable. We were run, run, throw it deep. Which is exactly what Tyler Lockett said for 2019. Ooh, Two, like Almost the exact same quote. So the big thing for me is as this moves forward, is what is this Seahawks offense going to be focused on? Is it going to be focused on the running game, which I think is what Pete Carroll wants it to be, <laughs> or is he going to cede some control to his new young offensive coordinator? There was a quote from uh, Brian Schottenheimer that when he took over, it was about 70% of the previous installation offensive stuff, the Pete Carroll mindset, about 30 of his own stuff. Mm. It's got to be close to at least 50-50. Now, if you want to try and keep the verbiage the same, to make it easier, an easier transition, I'm on board with that. But you got to implement more play action. you got to implement more misdirection, more pre-snap motion. The Rams run it to perfection there. You've got to find a way to make it easier on your offense so it's not just deep shots and running the football. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the Seahawks never ran, like, just crossing routes, right? Like, it was no. like, DK, go deep, Lockie, go deep. Oh, here's Chris Car Car Carson up the middle. Like, there was yeah. not a lot of variety, and early on in the season, DK, DK was just torching everybody. Yeah, so, and so they it was fine. And, they and uh, teams were like, okay, we'll just play blanket too deep, and mm -hmm. uh, good luck uh, mixing up your offense. And they never did, which is why a change was needed, a change is here. Now the question, like you said, is how much control will Waldron have? Because <laughs> Pete Carroll, to me, Good head coach. I don't know if I want him running my uh, uh, my offense at this point. Yeah. I also hope there's more play action out of this team. The Rams have been a heavy play action team in the past, and I think play action is really smart. We know Pete Carroll deep down wants to run the football. Early down play action works. Yes. That is a very effective thing, and you don't need to establish anything in terms of the numbers. There's, there's actually no correlation Super there. Chiefs. Yeah, exactly. Use play action, and I think that will help make life easier on – Russell Wilson as well, I don't think it's a great idea to just expect this offense to have, hey, we got vertical shots and we got the ground game. What else do we need? This is not my NCAA 14 dynasty where that's literally all I do. <laughs> it's not that simple in the NFL. They have to have something else in there. They have to become a more modern offense, and I hope that Shane Waldron helps the Seahawks go in that direction. And, and let's be fair, too. The Rams have done a really good job of making – Jared Goff, one of the mm. best play-action quarterbacks in the league. Goff is pretty average in a lot of other senses, but yep. they've maximized his abilities on yep, play-action. Yep, yep. you, you don't think Russell Wilson can incorporate mm. some of those bootlegs and, and yeah. do some of those things? I feel like he probably can yeah. and could probably do it even better than a guy like Jared Goff. So the Seahawks do have their new OC. Grade the higher, A, B, C, D, or F. This feels like a solid move. Now it's up to Pete Carroll to decide how much control he gets. Yeah, out. I guess in the end, the true grade will be how much influence Waldron gets to have and all that kind of stuff in between. But I'm going to give it at least a B. I, I think you could have tried to hire somebody better and like go for the fences, but they took their time. In terms of the other options left, I thought Waldron was better than one of the better ones left at this point I'll, in the market. I'll go B+. Plus. Let us okay. know what your grades are in the comments section. And get subscribed to our Seahawks channel while you're at it. If you're watching on our Seahawks channel, just hit that big red button and subscribe because we're plugging out videos five, six days a week. Tom's doing most of those. Sometimes you see me, sometimes Mitchell Renz. We're trying to get you caught up on the latest Seahawks news and rumors. If you're watching on our main Chat Sports channel, if you're watching live on Chat Sports, 
Uh, YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV is the place for you. If you want more Seattle Seahawks updates, go over there. We'll have you covered all offseason long. More rumors around the Seahawks. How about Shane Waldron bringing Gerald Everett with him? Interesting idea. He's a free agent this offseason, and he was tight end two for the Rams this past year, although I will make note, he did play a pretty good amount. Tyler Higby and Everett were almost tight end 1A, 1B they for them. They two tight end sets. And they, well. they like those two tight end sets. They, they, they didn't use a ton of Josh Reynolds, Van Jefferson relative to their top end receivers. They, they rotate between 11 personnel and 12 personnel pretty heavily. Tight end's a need for Seattle. Yeah. And Everett comes in, you offer yourself a little bit more in terms of athletic ability and potential big plays. Yeah, I like Gerald Everett. Uh, 2018 had a, or 2019 had a solid year. I thought he was decent again this year uh, as well. I think he's a really good uh, like deep crossers type mm -hmm. of tight end. It seems like those are the big plays the Rams would hit to him down the field on those bootlegs PA from crossers, Jared baby. Goff. And, you know, Greg Olson retired. Obviously, he was kind of, you know, toward the end there. He decided to hang him up. Will Disley didn't look quite the same post-injury. He's been banged up a lot. He's going to have a healthy offseason for the first time in years. expecting a Ger Gerald Everett to come in and be a top-10 tight end, that's probably a little mm -hmm. much. But the combination of a him and Disley – Maybe the combo is a top 10 duo in the NFL, and I think that could be another good addition to this offense. It depends on how much he's going to cost in the end. Yeah. Because cost is a potential problem for this Seahawks team with several key free agents on the defensive side of the ball and a lot of money already invested into their current roster. So they might just roll it back with Will Disley and Colby Parkinson. If Everett wants to come join Walden at, at the right cost, I think that does make some One sense, year, though. One year, three and a half million? I think he might go for more, but yeah, I would do that if I was Seattle. Should Seattle sign Gerald Everett? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Like Tom says, like most of these deals, comes down to money. But what do you guys think? Y for yes or in for no? We've got some NFL face masks available on sale for up to 75% off when you go to chatsports.com slash stay safe. We've got some Seahawks ones. We also have some Miami Dolphins face masks but all 32, 32 teams are mm -hmm. represented. Solo packs all the way up to four packs. Look, COVID's still lingering around, so you're going to have to wear one of these in public. And look, I, I'll get her to say, mm -hmm. if if stadiums are allowed to have fans next year, Tom, you're mm -hmm. pretty good chance you're still going to have to wear one of these. Yeah, so why, it's just not going to be done yet. So why not uh, represent your team in the process? Chatsports.com slash stay safe. That link is in the comments. It's in the description. Lots of cool varieties. Like I said, they're on sale as well. So go ahead and pick up your favorite kind. They're on sale. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. One more time. It's chatsports.com slash stay safe. Lots of different face coverings available for all 32 NFL. Some major on sale discounts too, by the way. Just a little bit of an update here when mm -hmm. it comes to Chad Wheeler, Tom. I know you covered this on the Seahawks channel yep. uh, on uh, Tuesday. He ain't coming back to Seattle. Yeah, that was pretty obvious at the time, especially for those of you who have seen the police report or, or, or read the notes of it there. Uh, again, accused. Nothing's been proven yet, so we'll let the legal system play out we're, naturally. We're not the judge and judge. He was arrested on suspicion of domestic violence for assaulting his girlfriend. Apparently had asked her to bow to him, and then she refused, so he choked her out. And she was unconscious, and he was surprised that, that she was still alive. There are photos of her out there. She, it looks absolutely horrible. Pretty obvious to go without saying, don't do this shit, guys. Come on. Like, honestly, if this ends up being completely accurate, he should not be allowed back in the NFL and, again. And honestly, he should not be. And he won't be. He will not be yeah. back in the NFL if these allegations end up being true. But uh, suffice to say, the Seahawks say he will mm -hmm. not be returning to Seattle. 